Imagine a world where ducks didn't quack and fly, instead thundered across the landscape, like giant feathered tortoises. Welcome to ancient Hawaii, e home of the incredible Moana. These weren't your average pond ducks. Over millennia their wings vanished. Their legs grew thick and powerful, and their beaks transformed into a parrot-like shears, strong enough to slice through the toughest island plants. On islands like Kua, Io, Ahu, and Maui, the Emoanalo stepped into a role usually played by large herbivores. They were the original landscape gardeners of Hawaii, browsing through the dense undergrowth, pruning shrubs, and clearing pads. Their specialized beaks, lined with serrated edges, made quick work of fibrous leaves and even spiny plants, a bit like a living hedge trimmer. Picture the ancient Hawaiian forests, a high canopy of haia and koa trees, with a vast, green ocean of ferns below. Through this fern sea, the moa nalo would move, their heads bobbing in a steady rhythm as they grazed. They were so effective at their job that many native plants actually evolved spiny leaves just to defend themselves from these avian bulldozers. In a world without major predators, the moa nalo had little to fear. They didn't need speed. Their sturdy legs were built for stability on slippery volcanic rock, not for escaping threats. They nested on the ground, likely near water, and their chicks would be up and following their parents through the fern lines trails, just hours after hatching. Life was good dictated by the rhythm of the rains, which brought fresh, tender shoots for them to feast on. Fossil remains found in sinkholes and sand dunes tell a story of incredible diversity, with different species evolving on different islands. But this unique world couldn't last forever. When humans arrived, they brought with them rats, pigs, and dogs. For the ground-nesting Moanalo, who had never faced such predators, it was a catastrophe. Their nests were easy targets, and these magnificent birds, so perfectly adapted to their peaceful world, quickly disappeared. But their legacy lives on. Even today, the plants of Hawaii, you carry the memory of the Moanalo in their spiny leaves. So next time you're on a trail and feel ferns brushing against your legs, imagine a giant, tortoise-like duck, doing its part to shape the very landscape around you. It's a powerful story of how life finds a way to fill the gaps, creating something utterly unique. Thanks for joining this journey into Hawaii's lost world. If you enjoyed this, be sure to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what piece of natural history you'd love to explore next. Until next time.